It's estimated about 7% of Americans over the age of 12 use marijuana regularly. Although it's not legal in Georgia, the Georgia Poison Center has seen a rise in problems with marijuana edibles. In February, 28 Sandtown Middle School students landed in the emergency room after ingesting treats their classmates brought to school. The GBI now says some of those treats were laced with THC, the psychoactive ingredient in pot. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin looks at why edibles come with risk. A new study out of Colorado where recreational marijuana is now legal finds that edibles may be driving a spike in emergency room visits. Unlike inhaled marijuana, which can cause stomach issues like nausea and vomiting, edibles are more likely to cause psychiatric problems, things like paranoia and psychosis, and even heart rhythm problems and heart attacks. And the director of the Georgia Poison Control Center says edibles are increasingly popping up in the calls they're getting. At the Georgia Poison Center, calls come in around the clock from people who've accidentally, sometimes intentionally, swallowed something they shouldn't. And five years ago, Director Gaylord Lopez says they rarely got calls about marijuana edibles, but that is changing. In many cases, it uh, doesn't cause a lot of problems, but once you start looking at animals, it's a completely different animal. It's easy to look at THC laced treats and think, what's the harm? But researchers have found our bodies process inhaled and ingested marijuana very differently. When it's inhaled, the effect is immediate. But when it's ingested, there's a delayed reaction. It takes about 30 minutes for the high to kick in. So feeling nothing, people may eat more and the side effects can sneak up on you. They range from mild symptoms, maybe nausea or vomiting, but they could rise up to uh, paranoia, hallucinations, uh, um, dizziness, drowsiness, and some of these in the right situation could be very dangerous. In Colorado, researchers also found edibles are more likely to cause heart rhythm problems, even heart attacks. Of three marijuana-related deaths in Colorado, all have been linked to edibles. Lopez says many of them are homemade. So there's no regulation of doses, no standardization of doses. Lopez likens it to playing edible roulette. You don't know what you're getting, he says. And he says most of the marijuana edible calls they're getting are about young children getting into treats that adults have left around. There are brownies, there are gummy bears, there are lollipops. These are typically children type products, right? And so how's a child going to um, know the difference between a spike product and something that, you know, you could buy in the store? And Lopez says last year, U.S. Poison Control Centers got about 600 calls involving edibles, and he predicts that number will continue to grow. And it's an issue that he says parents need to have on their radar screen. For the Fox Medical Team, I'm Beth Galvin.